Now, the death knell was sounded today for production of the world's biggest passenger jet, little more than a decade after the Airbus A380 was hailed as the future of aviation. The firm says it is struggling to sell its record-breaking plane. Our business editor Joel Hills reports. Cut in company at a runway three four then. Singapore to Sydney, the first commercial flight of the world's largest passenger jet was only 11 years ago, but Airbus has struggled to sell its super jumbo and today the company confirmed that production of the A380 will end. What we're seeing here is uh, the end of a large four engine aircraft and that is what it is. I mean there has been speculation uh, for years whether we were 10 years too early with the 380 I think it becomes clear that we were probably at least 10 years too late. The A380 was supposed to be the solution to a boom in aviation, an aircraft capable of carrying 800 passengers, some in luxury. But it took to the skies as the economics of the industry changed. Today, aircraft with two engines can fly long haul. The A380 has four and burns too much fuel. The A380 is expensive with a list price of £330 million. Pounds. Airbus's best customer was Emirates, but this morning that airline cancelled an order for 39 A380s and it was game over. The project has been an expensive failure, but the company still posted a profit of more than £2 billion pounds for last year. The A380's wings are built at Broughton in North Wales. It's landing gears at Filton near Bristol. Several hundred jobs are at risk as production winds down. Airbus spent billions developing this aircraft, but it's proved a commercial failure. This was a massive, massive in, uh, investment. That investment has to be paid back. To do that, you, and to get to a break-even point, Airbus would have needed to sell 650 to 700 uh, A380s. By the time production finishes, they will have sold 250. From plane spotters to passengers, the A380 has plenty of admirers. <laughs> but airlines couldn't make it work. Over the next 10 years, the super jumbo will gradually disappear from the skies. John Hills, ITV News. Still to come the ITV evening.